Okay, today we're going to look at comparing and ordering numbers in scientific notation. Let's look at a couple steps that we need to follow or key words that we need to have in place. To compare two numbers given in scientific notation, first compare the exponents. The one with the greater exponent will be larger. If the exponents are equal, compare their decimals. All right, so let's take a look at a few examples. So I have 6.23 times 10 to the 14 power and 8.9 one two times 10 to the 12th power. So the first thing we need to do is look at the exponents. They are different, so I can go ahead and compare which number is larger. So we have 14 and we have 12. If you say 14, you're correct. So 6.23 times 10 to the 14th power is my greater number. Which is greater? 5.15 times 10 to the negative fourth power or 6.35 times 10 to the negative fifth power. So once again, we're gonna look at the exponents. They are not the same. So we're going to look for which one is the greater number. Remember, when looking at negative numbers, the one closest to zero will be a larger number. So we have negative four, negative five. Which one is closer to zero? Negative four. So your final answer should be 5.15 times 10 to the negative fourth power. Okay, let's compare 3.28 times 10 to the 17th power and 4.25 times 10 to the 17th power. So the first thing we need to do is look at the exponents. If the exponents are the same or equal, we look at the decimal values. So we have 3.28 and 4.25. Simple way to look at decimals is to think of money. I have $3.28 and $4.25. Which one is more? So if you say $4.25, you're correct. So 4.25 times 10 to the 17th power. Hope that's making sense to you right now. Okay, let's look at a real life or real world example. The population of Alaska was about 6.35 times times 10 to the 5th in 2001. Nebraska's was about 1.71 times 10 to the 6th. Which state had the greater population? So the first thing we're going to do is compare the exponents. If the exponents are equal, then we're going to compare the decimals. So we look at the exponent and we can see that Alaska's exponent is 5. Nebraska's is 6. So which one has the greater population? Nebraska does. Hope that makes sense. All right, let's check. We can always check to see if that's correct. So when we convert our number from scientific to standard notation, we can simply see that Nebraska had the greater population. Hope that's making sense. All right, it's your turn. So the Atlantic Ocean has an area of 3.18 times 10 to the 7th square miles. The Pacific Ocean has an area of 6.4 times 10 to the 7th square miles. Which ocean has the greater area? So pause the video and give it a try. Okay, let's see what you did. Okay, if you looked at your exponents and you see that your exponents are the same, then you're going to look at your factors or your decimals, hoping that's what you did. And then you discover that 3.18 is less than 6.4. Once again, convert it to money. $3.18 versus $6.40. So if you said 6.4 times 10 to the 7th is the greater has a greater area, you are correct. Good job. All right, ordering example. So we are gonna order numbers in scientific notation. So we're gonna order order from least to greatest. So here are my numbers. 2.81 times 10 to the negative seventh power, 2.01 times 10 to the third, 2.72 times 10 to the negative seventh power, and 9.45 times 10 to the negative fourth power. So the first thing we're gonna do is look at the exponents. So the exponents, I see that I have a couple there that's the same. So when we have exponents that are the same, we look at the decimal value. So once again, think of money, $2.81 and $2.72. So we going from least to greatest, so which is a smaller value. If you say 7.72 times 10 to the negative seven, you're correct. So the next value should be 2.81 times 10 to the negative seven power. Now we're left with 10 to the third and 10 to the negative fourth power. So from least to greatest, so the next least number would be 9.45 times 10 to the negative fourth power. And finally, 2.01 times 10 to the third power. Hope that's making sense. All right, let's look at some more examples. But before we do, let's see if we can put this vocabulary in context. 
So ascending means smallest to largest. Think of ascending, something that's going up. So you start from the bottom and you're going up to the top. Descending means largest to smallest. So descending, you're starting from on top and you're going down to the bottom. All right, so let's take a look at our examples. We're going to put the following numbers in ascending order. So here are my examples. 7.4 times 10 to the third, 3.289 times 10 to the 15, 4.53 times 10 to the third power. So once again, we're going to look at our exponents. I see that I have two exponents that are the same. They are the same, 10 to the third. So we're going to look at the decimal value. So I got 7.4. Once again, think of money. So $7.40 and $4.53. So ascending mean I want the smallest to the largest. So what would be my first number? If you say 4.53 times 10 to the third, you're correct. The second value would be 7.4 times 10 to the third. And of course, the one with the greater value, 10 to the 15 power would be my last number. Hope that makes a whole lot of sense. All right, let's look at another one. Put the following numbers in descending order. Once again, descending, largest to smallest. So here are the examples. So we have power, 10 to the negative fifth power, 10 to the negative 12 power, and 10 to the negative fifth power. So two of my powers are the same. So we're going to look at my decimal fa factors. 2.579. So once again, let's think about money. So $2.58. I round that one up and two dollars and fifty three cents. So descending order, I need my largest number. So two dollars and fifty eight cents and two dollars and fifty three cents. So if you say two dollars and fifty eight cents, you're correct. So it's two point five nine times ten to the negative fifth power. The next number would be two point five three times ten to the negative fifth power. And finally, eight point five times ten to the negative twelve power. Hope that's making sense. Remember, when you're working with negative numbers, closer the number is to zero the larger the number is.